This is Wednesday Night Bible Study 22-23. Um, it is called Isaac and Rebekah. It comes from Genesis chapter 24, and the memory verse is Deuteronomy 31-8, which says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. He's going right ahead of us is what it means, okay? So Abraham's wife, Sarah, died. And when she died, Isaac was very alone. And Abraham was very much alone. And they really, really missed mama. And Abraham calls in his best servant and says, put your hand right here on my leg and make a promise that you will not find a wife for Isaac from the, among the people here because they don't believe in God. You need to make me a promise and go back to the country where we came from and see if you could find any of my relatives and see if they have any children or grandchildren that Isaac could marry because he can't marry these women. They do not know God. And his best servant, Eliezer, said, what if I get there and I find the woman? And she says, no, she won't marry him. She doesn't know Isaac at all. And Abraham says, if she says that she won't marry him, it's okay. You can just come back home again. But do not, do not take Isaac there because he cannot go any place except here because this is the place that we are going to inherit. So Eliezer takes 10 camels and some servants to help him with the camels. And he gives those camels water. Camels take about 20 gallons of water a piece. He had 10 camels, 200 gallons of water. And then he loaded them up with all kinds of gifts for the family of wherever he's going to find this wife for Isaac. So he goes and travels and travels and travels and he's worried about it because he doesn't know where he's going to find this girl. So eventually he comes to a spring in the area where he thinks is the right area. And he kneels down by the spring. And he tells all of his camels to lay down. And then he asks the Lord, he says, now you know what I'm here for. I've got to find a wife for Isaac and I, I've never found a wife for somebody before. And I need you to help me find the right one. So this is going to be our plan, God. I'm going to find a girl when she comes down to get water for her household. And I'm going to talk to a girl. And I'm going to ask her to lower her jug and give me a drink. And if she says to me, yes, and let me water your camels too. That's a lot of work. Then I'll know she's the right one. Amen. So then he waited. And in a little while, all the young ladies came down to get water for their households. And they were carrying these big jars on their shoulders. And the one that comes down close to him, said, he says to her, Hey, could you lower your jar and give me a little drink of your water? And she says, Oh, yes, I will. So she brings it down and she gives him a little drink. And then she says to him, Oh, are these your camels? I'll draw enough water to, to water your camels too. That's exactly what he wanted her to say. So then he watches and she fills up 200 times, 200 gallons of water and gives them to the camels. And then he says to her, here, I'll give you a gift. And he gives her a nose ring and some bracelets. And then he says, tell me, whose family are you a part of? And would there be room there for us to sleep there for the night? And she says, oh, she says, I'm the granddaughter of Nahor, who was the brother of Abraham. Oh, I got the right family. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you, God. He gets down on his knees and says, thank you, God. Thank you, God. You got me to the right family. And then... Um, she says, and there's lots of straw and fodder at the house. You just bring these camels up and you can stay with us tonight. So he goes up and her mom has supper ready on the table. And he says, I can't eat until I tell you what I came for. 
And then he tells them the story. He tells them how Abraham and Sarah had this little boy when they were very old and his name is Isaac and he needs a wife and how he had asked God to find him the perfect wife and that when their virgin daughter who's very beautiful who happens to be named Rebecca came down with the water she offered to fill to water all of his camels too and that's exactly how he prayed and then he knew that she was the one and the dad and the brother said God did this we can see God's hand doing this God picked Rebecca for Isaac. We can't say anything. Of course, she can go. And so then they ate supper and then they went to bed. And in the morning, the servant says, okay, it's time to go back. And they said, oh, no, not yet. We just even haven't adjusted to the idea of her leaving. How about if she sticks around for maybe 10 more days and then she'll come? And he says, come on, God gave me this, this answer right away. I want to get back home again and tell Abraham what he did. And so they said, we'll ask her. And Rebecca said, oh, I'll go. So she brings her servant with her and they load up those camels. But now they've given most of those gifts to Laban and Bethuel, to her family, given them all kinds of wonderful gifts. And they've given gold and silver and all kinds of things to Rebecca too. And they get on those camels and they start back to where Abraham and Isaac live. And Isaac is out in the field meditating, praying, talking to God. And he looks out in the distance and he sees camels coming. And he runs towards the camels and Rebecca sees him at the same time. And Rebecca climbs down off her camel and says, hey, who is that man? And they said, that one's Isaac. And so she puts a veil over her face. She just kind of hides herself until their wedding. And then they went to Sarah's tent and became husband and wife. And Isaac was comforted in his mother's death because now he had a wife and he was 40 years old. How would you feel about it if your parents found you the perfect spouse? The important part of this is to know that it is the Lord who goes before you and he's the one that answers your prayers and he's the one that finds you somebody who loves God as much as you do. Let's pray. Dear Father God, these ideas of marrying somebody you never saw before are so foreign to us in America. But yet, it worked for them. And you do have plans for us that are bigger and better than anything we can imagine. Help us, O oh Lord, to lean on you and to listen for you and to watch you open up doors. In Jesus' name, amen.